Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another collab. This is a Mother's Day collab. Um, the lovely Debris Nails, Jonna, she asked if I wanted to um, join in this Mother's Day collab. So of course I said yes. And we have some very lovely ladies joining in here. We have Alicia's Glam Nails, Moonchild Custom Creations, sick tips and flawlessly unique nails so yes she did this uh, such a great idea um she put all of our names down and then i guess did like a wheel or something and paired us up and we had to recreate each other's um sets like look up our sets that we've done either for mother's day or something that looks like mother's day and recreate it which i thought was such an awesome idea never done anything like this so the person that i had to recreate was my nail sister alicia's glam nails and i picked this set um i just she did this last year for mother's day this was her mother's day set and i just had to had to do it's absolutely gorgeous so she did use pivot and i'm using glazed amor and um, berry blush because i just need an excuse to use that glitter the glazed amor is just absolutely gorgeous it's one of my favorite polishes <laughs> and then i'm using some um they're actually almond tips um from enel couture and i do have oops sorry all right so yes a trash truck uh just went by i had to wait for it to go around the neighborhood so <laughs> Um, yeah, I did have those butterfly stickers and then of course I want to try to do some stamping um, So yeah, we just had to kind of put our own little twist on it So yeah, I'm so excited to do this set. I mean, I just saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous So yes, we're gonna start by Putting our tips on I did put my peel off base coat um, I'm gonna use the Enel Couture press on gel and clear so I'm just going to show one nail. Like I said, I just put my peel off. I use the McCart one because I do want to keep these on for a few days. And I'm just going to put some of that gel in there. Um, place it down by the cuticle. I did have to lift it up a little bit because I didn't have it down pretty, you know, well enough. So I did have a little bit seep out. Um, but now I'm just, I already went ahead and um, buffed and everything. And I do want to make them a little bit sharper and they were kind of sticking out because they are almond, but I kind of wanted to taper them in a little bit. So I'm just going to use my hand file and just taper in the sides and then try to make them a little bit pointy. All right, so I already went ahead and filed. Um, I buffed and then I did apply the Madame Glam base coat. So on her set, she did both hands. One hand she did a Frenchie on the pinky and then the other hand she did it just a solid pink. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the, um, just to do the Frenchies. So yeah, the pinky, the index, and the thumb. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, two coats of the pivot um, on those three nails. All right, so I had to stop recording because um, I had gotten a text message and yeah, so... I forgot to push um, record, so I already did the pinky and now I'm doing the index finger. I love this color. It is such a very pretty nude. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, do two coats. I'm just going to show one coat here and I'm curing each coat for 60 seconds. All right, so now on the middle and the ring finger, we're gonna go in with, um, I'm gonna be using the glazed amor. And yeah, so the whole nail's gonna be that. Like I said, I just wanted, <laughs> had to choose this. I was like, I need an excuse to use this. This is my absolute favorite color from Madame Glam. It's just, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing, um, I think two coats. I'll see how one coat looks. Oh my gosh, I just, oh, I just absolutely love this color. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I will do two coat just because the tip is still, you can see through it just a little bit, but oh my gosh, isn't this gorgeous?
All right, look at this color. Oh my gosh, just absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go in with the No Wipe Top Coat. I'm actually gonna top coat all the nails, even the ones I'm gonna do the Frenchies, um, in case if I mess up, you know, because it does have a sticky layer, and I mean, I could wipe it, but I don't know, I don't want it to ruin like the look of the polish. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a thin, thin coat on the, you know, the nude nails, just in case if I mess up the Frenchie, I can wipe it and not worry about the polish. All right, so I already went ahead and put the top coat and I cured for 60 seconds. So now we're gonna go in with Berry Blush and this is what we're gonna do the um, Frenchies with. I'll probably just show one nail. Um, I'm not the greatest at um, Frenchies, so, <laughs> so I don't wanna bore you. So yeah, I'm just gonna put some gel here and then we'll go in and do the Frenchies. <laughs> All right, so I finished the Frenchies, they're okay. Like I said, that's one thing I need to really practice is my Frenchies. <laughs> um, so yeah, I didn't put another top coat yet just because I had put that top coat already after we did the nude and I didn't want the nails to get too thick. So I just wiped them um, with alcohol because you know, they have a tacky layer. Because I think, because we're gonna go in with stickers and then the, if I do the stamping, we're gonna have the top coat. So I didn't wanna put too many layers, but. She had, yeah, when she put the charms or roses, um, I don't know why the foam looks weird like that. I guess because, I don't know, it looks weird. There's like a line moving down, I don't know. But yeah, she has roses, so I thought, you know, this one has a rose, so I thought maybe trying to do something like that. I'm not sure, I'm gonna see how it looks. Because I wanted to do it on like the Frenchie part. But I don't know if the pinky it might be too big. I don't know, we'll see. That way we can just take it off. All right, so let's see. Um, if this is going to look right or not. All right, so I do of course have to go in there and clean it up with some acetone because um, I just want it on the French area. So yeah, I'm just gonna take my brush here and I'm just gonna clean up um, where I don't want the stamp on the nail. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I didn't like it. I thought the white was like too much. Um, so I'm gonna try this pearly one um, and see, just to get a little effect. I don't know, I just wanna try it. And I think I'm just gonna mostly stick to the lace part, not really the flower, so. You know what, I think I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I mean, if it does look like mermaid, then whatever. But, I mean, it is like, you know, you've seen lace patterns like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and top coat it. <laughs> I'm just going to top coat. And then I'm going to do the, um, the other two nails. Alright, so I'm going to... 
I don't know, I'm trying to decide between stamping, stickers, um, yeah, I don't know, I want to try this little one, like outline it in white, and then fill it in with this, I have like this pink, so yeah, I don't know, we'll see how it looks, if not, then I'll, I don't know, figure out something. <laughs> Alright, so yes, I'm going to do some reverse stamping. Um, each of the nails that has a Frenchie, I'm going to be doing a different butterfly and I will be doing a white outline and then filling it in with pink. I was sticking with the pinks because that's Alicia's favorite color. She absolutely loves pink, so I just had to stick with some bright pinks. Yes, I love the name Alicia. It's actually my daughter's name. Um, I had never heard that name until I worked in Arizona at a dental office. And one of the girls was named Alicia and I just, I fell in love with that name. I was going to name my daughter Alyssa, but my dad's cousin had a daughter before me and she named her Alyssa and I was like, no, I don't want to have the same name. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so then I ended up working with that girl and her name was Alicia and I found out I was pregnant and I was having a girl and I told her, I'm going to name my baby after you. And she just got so excited because I just, I think it's a, the most beautiful name. So yes, Alicia is just such a very pretty name. <laughs> All right, so I just went ahead and stamped the butterfly because it's the same as the other nails. I think it came out really, really cute. So we're going to be putting this butterfly charm. I realize I don't have that many butterfly charms. Like I have tons of stuff. And of course, I'm looking for butterflies and I have like that super tiny one. But I thought this one was so pretty. It shined. I mean, the sparkle on it is gorgeous. So I'm just going to be putting that butterfly... Uh, glue in that butterfly kind of at an angle. I wanted it sitting at an angle. I'm going to flash cure it. And I'm going to put it in my hand for 60 seconds. All right. So under the butterfly, she has like pearl and then the rhinestone pearl um, rhinestone. So I'm just going to do that. Um, I don't have many pearls either. Like the half pearls. I have these which are in this little thing. Um, and then I have the baby rhinestones so I'm gonna put the pearl right here Oops, all right. Oh, I think it's so cute. Oh my gosh. It's so sparkly that the camera's not focusing right. <laughs> so on the ring finger, she has some roses here and then more pearls and the little um, uh, rhinestones. So I'm just going to kind of put these... I see. Yeah, these are the. I only have two of these. Oh, I wasn't recording, but I just put the other rose next to it here. And I'm just going to flash here and then put it in my light. It looks cute, so. Let's see. Yeah, so she just has like pearls kind of around the um, 
the roses, which is super cute. I like that. So I'm going to put one right here. See, this was fun because I usually don't do, you know, a lot of rhinestones and all that because I don't really know how to place them. <laughs> I'm not good at that. So, um, so yeah, it was fun to do something different. Um, and yeah, I mean, it said, they said put your own twist on it. So I'm like, oh, I did the stamping and then tried to add like the little lace and, but I wanted to kind of follow how she did the, you know, the rhinestone placement stuff so, because she's so good at it. She loves her bling. So, <laughs> so I hope you like it, Alicia. But yeah, it's so fun. I love it. The site, I think it came out so pretty when I saw hers. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. Okay, I love how this looks with the pearls. Oh my gosh, I think it's so freaking cute. See, I would have never thought to did that. I <laughs> freaking love it. Oh my gosh, I freaking love it. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, some rhinestones and maybe just have them like coming this way. All right, this is the finished set here. I think they came out so cute. I still have them on today, Saturday. I did them on Thursday. I'm gonna keep them on tomorrow. And then Monday, I gotta start doing more, you know, sets. But yes, I hope you like them, Alicia. You do an awesome job. I love your videos. Your bling placement is just always perfect. I just enjoy your content so much. Thank you so much, Jonna, for inviting me to this collab. It was so much fun. I've never recreated anybody's nails and yeah, it was just so much fun. Please check out all the ladies that are involved in this collab. They're all amazing and do amazing work. I hope you guys have a happy Mother's Day and enjoy your day and we'll see you next time. Bye.